when we refer to the veterans uh, in the language, we call them uh, Ogichita. And Ogichita means, uh, you know, the, the uh, English rough translation is warrior, but in our language, the deeper meaning means the, the big hearted one, the one with the big heart. And they truly do have big hearts. David Thompson is the land based education coordinator at Dennis Franklin Cromarty High School. He served in the military when he was younger and wants students to feel connected to First Nations veterans. You know, the uh, wall of remembrance that you see here is a uh, display of uh, uh, First Nation veterans from uh, First World War, Second World War, Korea and other theaters of service. You know, when they signed up, most of them were just young boys, as you, as you can see. Uh, you know, they're just kids like the kids in the high school here. A lot of these young people were uh, straight out of residential school. Uh, they went into the Army, uh, you know, the Air Force, the Navy. They said, you know, coming out of residential school, going through basic training was nothing, you know, because, you know, they had already endured uh, some pretty hardships, you know, going to residential school. More than 7,000 First Nations people fought in World Wars One and Two and the Korean War. Well, first, when, when they joined, you know, they're treated as equals. You know, they're proud to wear those uniforms and they put their lives on the line, you know, for uh, in defense of Canada when Canada, the Crown, needed them. But they themselves experienced a lot of hardship coming back after their service. Many First Nations veterans were enfranchised when they enlisted, losing rights like their Indian status. To come back to their own land, their own homelands, uh, to face the very things that they fought against. Today, they are honored for their contributions, but Thompson said veterans should be remembered all year round. You know, at uh, powwows, you know, veterans are held in high, high regard, you know, high esteem. And there's a special dance, special song for them. And by seeing uh, death on the battlefield, you know, the veterans truly know the sacredness of life. And what these young people did in their time was very brave, honorable, and dedicated. He said the display is having a positive impact on the students. I think people are in awe. It's like, wow, you know, our people did that. And uh, so uh, I think it's uh, very uh, empowering for our students to see that, you know, our people were there too. And, and they did a great thing. Willow Fiddler, APTN National News, Thunder Bay.